Hey, it's Joe Lyons, my automator, and uh, this is we're going to touch on what we automated this week without a hotkey. So let me share my desktop. Now remember, this is uh, me and three other guys. This is all we do all the time is automate stuff without a hotkey. I've already jumped up my, oop, wrong hotkey. Here we go. Tools and recently modified files. So this is going across my S drive, which is our work drive of where all of our client work and our auto hotkey stuff for the automator is. And I have 84 files found that we worked on this week. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, I'm pretty tired. I was out working on the tractor again without dying this time. And uh, let me go over this list. It's organized by folder, this audio list. This I was using FFmpeg to get a list of the audio devices like microphones. And so we tested that. I also tested it with WMI now. We have a WMI in V1, but unfortunately it was a little tough in V2, and then I asked Claude to convert it, and it seemed to have done it. So I'm interested to have Isaiah take a look at this and see. Uh, I don't think it was exactly the way the other one did, but it did seem to be very close, so we should be able to borrow what the way Claude did it and um, adapt the entire thing, because WMI is amazing. It's really helpful uh, to be able to peek at different settings on your computer and system, uh, and it's... Again, we have the V1. I'll put the V1 link up. Uh, at some point, we'll make the V2 if we get this working available. Uh, we did a lot of work in our OpenAI class for using ChatGPT. And you'll see in here, I'm not going to go through each one, but uh, um, we'll, we'll discuss some of the cool things we're doing with them. One is I can record an audio file um, and have it transcribe for me. So record, let's see, record audio lib, record audio test. Here we go. Audio AI, uh, oh, that's, well, let's see. AI audio transcribe. This is, I think, is the tool. So I'm going to double click it, and now it says hold down that tick mark to start recording. And let me go ahead, well, actually, that part doesn't matter, but um, I'm going to hold it down. Now, I'm using my mic in OBS, so hopefully that doesn't break it. But I'm going to start recording, and now I, I know it didn't break it because you can see this mic is peaking and peaking. So the second I let go, it's going to transcribe it. Now it's submitted it to Whisper. Now that is what I said, so you can take a look at how good it did. It's on my clipboard, and it's also in this OGG file, 7 seconds and 22K. So that OGG file format's very good, very small. That's what that one does. And now we have other plans with this of like, okay, now that I have it transcribed, I could just paste it, right? Not that we would put that there, but I can I can um, have that text later. We're hoping to actually say, look for keywords and automate my computer with what we've done there. Uh, instead of using the voice access, which we do have a script on that, if you're using Windows 11, that's a great one to be able to automate and predefine what you're telling it to do. But later what we're gonna do with this one is to have it send what we said, use it like as the prompt and send it back to ChatGPT and have it um, ask the, the start the prompt for you, right? And start the conversation. I have another idea where, let's say if I was in my emails, I could select text, hit a hotkey like that, say something, and then have, if text is selected, have it, the prompt, it gives it instructions and then it appends the data and says like, hey, tr please read this email and reply to them in the same, in my usual tone, because it knows who I am and you know tell them i'm not interested or whatever right so um that's another use of that we have so many uses of it it's really cool so i highly recommend you check out our our class on that Isaiah has got that working they keep making changes to it but the current one right now at least is working um here again there's lots of stuff with ffmpeg it's a great free tool uh that you can download and then we are wrapping it with auto hotkey and connecting to it at the prompt uh command line level and just telling it to do stuff for us. Um, our triggers class, that one's getting pretty close to being ready to release, and that's where we're making it easier to include the, the hotkey preferences. Let me bring over my system tray here. I think that script is still running. And I'll show you in the, where's our microphone? Yeah, so we go to the preferences. I actually see them right here. This is where it says Windows Shift R. And if I go to Preferences, um, these two things here are from our trigger class. So you can, if I click keyboard, um, and now I have a choice. I can select the mouse, a keyboard, or I can disable it. Usually there's hot strings, but right now this one's a little different. So I'm going to say keyboard, 
And I could give it a context menu where I'd say, oh, it's the recently modified files. And I could select a hotkey where it will say the F. Not that we would use the F, that'd be pretty horrible. Uh, I'm gonna hit cancel here. But when you hit that, what's cool is when you hit save, it updates it here for you and it updates it in your system tray. So, and for your settings, right? So it's very cool because that's a lot of work to do. And this is a script we'll be um, letting you guys grab. I think it's what, you know, a couple bucks or something. But it's really cool because you don't have to program all that and it's easy for things to go wrong. So, um, and that is my whisper. Some of, I'll, I'll just go change the API key, uh, it'll be easier. But yeah, that probably shouldn't be on the recording. <laughs> and yeah, so there's that. Detect aggregation. I don't know what that was. That's, oh, old, it's, it's under old. Uh, Joe Task transcribe video so yeah we're, we're transcribing or actually it, it says transcribe video but it's really transcribing an audio file we convert the video to audio because it's just a smaller file size um so that's the, that one is uh open it so more with the ffmpeg and that the translate and subtitles so we're also translating the transcriptions into different languages which makes it easier for if you have videos in a certain language and you want them to have subtitles in a different language. And we actually have a choice. You can either embed them um, into the video or just have them as subtitles. Yeah, so a lot of these things, we're, we're working on that. A lot of different stuff and it gets complicated, but we're basically hashing the video files to tell if we've already um, converted it to an OGG file. And that hash allows us to not keep transcribing it over and over and over and once that tool's done I'll, I'll do a little detail of exactly how that works and why we do it so it's really good so anyway uh, more just ffm pig actually i'm not sure oh that's still with the translate mason um json file and originally we were getting json an actual there were two levels of json from ChatGPT. one was a, a deeper richer model which had the start and end times but then we needed the SRT files for a different reason. And we said, well, why don't we just have us return the SRT files instead of converting the JSON to SRT. Let's just get the SRT and use that. So um, we've, we're, uh, that's what this one was, but yeah, we've swapped since then. The toolkit we were trying to convert, use Claude to convert. We, we finally gave up, there were just too many errors and it's just not worth it uh, to convert the toolkit to V2. Um, get to edge. That was came up during the hero call, if I remember. Yeah, I think one of the questions Scott had was, getting a second uh, handle to an edge window. So Irfan cranked out a quick example during the hero call. Notify v2, this notify class is really awesome uh, for doing notifications on your, notifying your users. Um, and you can actually use it for even playing sounds as well and you can control what monitor it's on. It's really easy. The trigger class, you can easily select those different hotkeys or hot string or, or uh, a mouse click. Uh, so that's really convenient. That one, hopefully next week we should have that available. The simple file renamer, I was trying to convert that to, to V2. It was a very long script, so that one I did end up using a lot last week, but it's, it's still a V1 script. Um, I'm surprised, oh, that one, zero kilobytes. Yeah, that, that's interesting. But um, it checks to see if you're on the suppression list or not, if you give me your email address. So I, you know, I can add people to the suppression list or remove them if they are. Regex recipes. So Rizwan has been um, creating a list of regular expression recipes. Recipes are just the, the patterns and, and they're predefined. So like for a regex for identifying a valid phone number or a valid email address or a valid credit card. So we have a list of, I don't know how many he has, like 50-ish or so. And we'll be putting those um, into both uh, uh, probably a PDF, but also into Prompt Assistant. So that way, if you're a Prompt Assistant user, you can just import it and then use them right away. So that'll be really handy. Um, so he was working on that and this res finder. Um, I think that's just the Yeah, the icon finder, which we, we did a little update with that. Um, now you can um, Look for certain things and then I can go and get the tray icon or um, no, look I could even use it in my notify class But yeah, these are different uses of it and when you click one it will write the syntax and a push This is our notify class and it pushes that notification um, Here, but on my clipboard I could paste that and use that code so um, sorry if I'm a little fast this week. I've recorded this video three times now. I had some other issues with things, and so 
Um, just kind of cruising through stuff today. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we, we do hope we'll have some good stuff released next week. We've been working a lot lately um, for clients and getting stuff done, but it's, um, it's been, you know, busy times and hope you're doing well. Thank you. Uh, like the video if you learned something and want to hear more about how we use AutoHotKey. Have a great day. Cheers.